Hey y'all. Good evening. Um, I usually make a morning video, but I'm awake and um, I've just been so busy creating little things and having so much fun with that. And um, I guess I just wanted to share and I thought, well, why not make a little video? Um, to try to get me to wind down, wind down a little bit. Um, technically this Monday is my Sunday and, um, I start work tomorrow. So I want to have a nice refreshing sleep so I can start tomorrow with, uh, lots of good energy. So it's really interesting, um, before I was getting ready to make this video, I lit my, um, sage stick that has like lavender and mugwort and goldenrod and I think there's lemon verbena in this. <clears throat> I lit it like minutes ago and it's still going. Usually that doesn't happen. Usually like it only stays lit for a tiny bit and it's so powerful that it's enough, but it just keeps going. Um, so I'm going to let that happen. Also, like, things have been knocking off my walls and, um, just kind of dropping out of nowhere. Just now, <clears throat> right before I started the video, I heard something drop randomly and then I dropped something <clears throat> right after that because it startled me. Um, there's no one awake here or anything. Um, so yeah, the veil's pretty thin right now still. And um, our ancestors are definitely always with us, but now is the time where we, um, so to speak, and uh, mythically and culturally speaking, and in so many other ways, <laughs> um, we're able to um, ask and have intention with our questions and maybe receive, um, I don't want to say more direct results, but maybe we are able to see or notice signs in a different manner. Um, I, I feel very connected to nature and I feel like I'm able to subjectively ask questions um, a lot to gain insight. <clears throat> and it's not just like a one and done thing, like even starting this whole journey of like shamanism. I remember my very first journey, like I met with Isis and it was very powerful because even though I was just beginning my, um, I feel like my spiritual journey, well, not just, we're all just on it, but like I was doing a lot more research and stuff and really getting more curious and, um, taking up more of my time with asking questions about esoteric knowledge than like, <clears throat> how many shots I could order at the bar, I guess. Um, actually that's pretty on point. Yeah. I just got really curious about myself, but anyway, <clears throat> the, the big message I got from that journey was that, um, you know, like there's a lot of medicine and knowledge to be gained, but like <clears throat> you have to do the work. Life is a journey. Life's a marathon, not a sprint, you know? <clears throat> and um, I'll never forget that. And I definitely feel that um, and endure that and, you know, feel that wave, so to speak. Um, so um, I'd like to, as always, be grateful for our ancestors because without them, we wouldn't be here. And, um, you know, there's a lot of wisdom we can gain from them, even though we haven't known a lot of them personally, but we might really feel a, um, a bond in some way. And I, I know I do. Um, and I have <clears throat> spent time and time with this intention in mind. Um, there are lots of people that might not have this intention and have encounters as well, which can be very, um, shaky for sure. Um, 
I've definitely encountered this as well. And this has been just like a very hot topic right now in my world. Um, ancestry and like gratitude of the moment and space and like intention of space and self um, and how the things that we do matter even to the finest little degree intention really matters so um, I just got married last weekend and it was so great and I'm excited to start this new family, this new lineage, this new loving cycle. Um, and with that being said, I'd love to just do a little bit of rattling with my Thunderbird rattle that I got at Golden Nugget. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna forget about you singing bowl. I'm a singing bowl. I really am. doing that with and like sage it clears space and kind of uh yeah I don't know it just kind of clears the space a little bit and uh shakes out you know anything that's uh kinky I guess um so I just wanted to do a quick little fusion reading I'm really excited about this new deck I received from this amazing woman Tara Balak I've been following her for a little while on IG and um, she is an amazing artist and she's been putting out these amazing readings on Insta and I was like, when, you know, how do I get these cards? They're so great. And um, they just became on sale on Halloween and now I have my deck. I think it's the fourth or fifth or something. So I'm super grateful. Um, these aren't, these aren't a tarot style deck it's more like an oracle like one word like um but it, it there are 52 um it's more like just like you know guiding cards um with beautiful 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 art um i'll make sure to turn up the light somehow so you can see the card that we get and then i'm gonna fuse it with a crystal card and end with a little bit of crystal singing bowl action. Yeah, so these shouldn't take long. I'm already at eight and a half minutes. Ah. These are so cool. Gentleness, the deer. I know the lighting's pretty bad, but I'll take a picture of it on my story later. Um, I vibe with these deer very much. I love these sisters and brothers of our land. And they carry that medicine so well, every step. The crystal we have is, oh, it looks like it's, Kunzite, like pink tourmaline, ace of swords, sword ladies, I know who, there's a lot of pink going on here, self, I see suns and moons and clouds and sky, a lot of self boundaries in this ethereal, airy place. There isn't really much of a reading for the um, oracle cards. It's just like a word and like vibe. Kunzite, yeah. Oh wait, no. 
What's her page of swords? This is Ace of Swords. I feel like I'm getting a little sick. So I've been drinking Oxymo from Amanda at Locust Light. Yeah, Pink Tourmaline, base. Um, base Chakra. You will have a new way of seeing the world and your mind inspires a new idea or invention. Um, which like is very much a creative time right now, which I feel like a lot of us are picking up on as like this month of November and being the watery sign of Scorpio. Um, the sword cuts through illusion in your mind, bringing clarity to your thoughts, whilst your base chakra drives you forward, creating new opportunities for you. You may find you need to face some truths along the way and be very honest with yourself, but any new projects now will be worth pursuing. Ele elevate enhances creativity, bringing new ideas and the ability to see situations differently, which we all need. So, very um, pretty cards fitting together. Pink tourmaline and gentleness, compassion of the deer. Thanks for joining me tonight, and I hope you have some sweet dreams. Thanks for joining me tonight. My name's Kat. Have a good one.